poppy, one of the poppies, and the bees, uh, you could see the bees are working on the pollen. They do love, bees do love um, pollen, poppies, pollen. There she goes. This is a view of our pond. There's a kaya lily, there's a lot of stuff. There's a water lily. Um, that's been blooming regularly, just about every week. The blue flower is a scabiosa, also known as a pincushion flower. And I have some, uh, this is kaya lily. This particular varietal is called African Gold. The leaves are much larger than the, your average kaya lily. And all kaya lilies, I just found out, is native to South Africa. And the blue one is a bellflower. The African gold flower, kaya lily flower, is also larger than typical kaya lily. So we have to really enjoy the water lilies. It's, I think this is the first year that has bloomed pretty much consistently. I love this oak leaf hydrangea. It's, um, it gets quite large, so you need to put it in a, uh, need to get, give it plenty of room. Ours is, needs to be pruned. This is one of our resident cat. I think um, the cats are keeping our voles and moles in check. Um, this is larkspurs and more poppies. Every one of these, I have to transplant them. They don't like to be transplanted, but I did them fair when they were very young. And my hydrangeas, um, very interesting. That's one plant and some are blue and some are light pink. And that's all based on your acidic city of the soil. Another different type of poppy. This one, I love it. It's really gotten big. It's called acanthus. Uh, it's very common in Mediterranean countries. Uh, this is a no. Uh, I think this went to number, did a number two on my wall. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> For background with some roses there. <laughs> and yeah, I have some columbine in the background. He's really, or she's really liking my garden. They do, um, they are prolific uh, uh, insect eaters, so they're uh, for good for your garden. Thanks for watching.